Hello, my friend. We're here at Costco. Let's check out what's on sale at Costco. What are the healthy food to buy this week? Let's go. This item is on sale. Actually, I'm gonna film a video. It's like almost off sale soon, June. But we just bought one. Can't wait to do the unboxing. Keurig is on sale, ninety-nine dollars. But this deal happens all of the time. So. This happens all of the time. It's always on sale on the holidays, but it's still a pretty good deal. Ooh, Olay is on sale. Do we need them? Yeah, for body wash, eleven dollars for three. That's pretty good deal. We can use anything. I'm not picky with body wash, so we always buy just anything that's on sale. This is a really good brand for razor on sale, ten dollars off. I do recommend it. So this is good. Actually, I may buy this 15 count disposable. I'm actually may actually buy this three blades. Twenty dollars for 15. Got to keep them sharp <laughs> for shaving and stuff. Of course, that one is for men, I guess, for the beard. But this is for women. I like it. I really like this brand. So it's really good deal. So we're getting it. Also, the floss and these toothpaste are on sale, but I use Sensodyne usually. This is actually a pretty good shirt, fifteen dollars men's active tee. Like it's actually in this very nice material. It's actually very soft and breathable. For fifteen dollars, I think it's a really good price, and you get like two colors or something. Look at this material. I actually really like it. It's super cool to touch. And breathable. Usually a Lululemon, those are like fifty dollars, but it's fifteen dollars at Costco. So I think it's actually pretty cool. Interesting. They have the solar insect killer torch two pack fifty dollars. This is actually pretty nice. Bug zapper with LED flame effect. <laughs> so it basically has a nice flame effect, but it's also a bug zapper. I think it's really nice if you have a backyard and patio and stuff. It's not on sale, but outdoor living, right? Like if you go out in summer, I think it's a pretty interesting item. There's another bug zapper. We actually have ants problems in our house, so these may not help since like we actually need like ants traps and stuff. But this will be attract the mosquitoes and kill them. This is the one Adam bought. This is the. Outdoor grill with a smoker. How much? Eight hundred dollars. Looking nice. Yeah. Ooh. It gives you like nice smoke. Like if you want to smoke me for twelve hours. And I actually really like the product we got. I used to buy those from like Bath Pro Shop earlier. Twelve dollars. I want to buy a sun hat. It has a strap. Like, do they have like sizes? One size. Okay. I think it's nice, like when we go on vacation and stuff, to have like a sun hat. It's one size. It's just a headband that keeps the sweat. Is it? Yeah. That one. Why does it keep the sweat out? Well, otherwise it just gets on. Ah. Solar escape. So this one twelve dollars. Like, I was gonna buy the one from Bass Pro Shop. That one was like thirty dollars. So thirty-five dollars compared to twelve dollars. Even though the ones from Bass Pro Shop was nicer looking ones, I would still choose to save money. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna wear it like when we go on vacations and stuff. So it doesn't make sense to spend a lot of money on it anyways. So this one is twelve dollars too. This hat. Also comes with a thing. Like, which one looks nicer? I'm gonna take a look. You guys tell me, okay? All right. So, so this one. This is what it looks like. I feel like this one is just too rainforest looking. It's too fisherman style. Versus the other one is like better looking. I like this one better. Yeah, like this one. So I'll get this one, but it's the same price. <gasps> I found my Skechers shoes, guys. You have to get this, guys. You have to get this. It's on sale. 
$15, originally $20. You have to get, this is the best shoes I've ever worn, but we need size six. I doubt that they have size six. They have size seven. Sorry. I just desperately need size six. So, but this is the most comfortable shoes I've ever had. There's a seven. I do not see six. We do not see six, but I just need to look for them. We got this size six. Okay, let's try them. You're so comfortable, trust me on this. Okay. So I have the other color, but these are black looking. I got the taupe one last time. I got the taupe one last time, only seat one. So this is what it looks like. It's so comfortable. I love this, $15, we're buying this. We're buying this. And you can wear this to work somewhat. So, yay, size six, found them. And it's a different color. I like taupe better, but it's nice to have a change. So, highly recommend, go to your Costco. They're on sale. These are the most comfortable shoes. Just give you a look. So you can see there's a little bit of arch support here. For the price, the cheapest shoes that have some sort of arch support, and it's somewhat soft as well, so. I really like it. Skechers has really nice walking shoes, so. Yay, $15. Got them. So these are also flip-flop. Memory foam. Memory foam sandals, $13. Let's see if we could try it on somewhat, right? But they're definitely softer than one that I already have. They're definitely softer. Yeah, the latest is $13, for men is $15. I don't think they have arch support. Yeah, but it's just soft. It's just soft shoes. I don't think there's like a lot of arch support, but I think it's just softer than normal sandals. Are you gonna buy them? It's definitely more comfortable than the one I already have, and it's way cheaper. Like, I could tell this is like definitely very, very soft. Yeah, I will take it. It's so much cheaper than the one we saw online in Bath Pro Shop. So, it's definitely a good deal, guys. Summer necessities. Those are really nice. $15 for these memorable bath mat. They're just so soft. And they're the best deal ever. Like, when we bought this from like other places, they're not as soft and memorable like, and they're always like $30 or $29 at least. These are just so good. Like this is not a soft, like these are the softest from this brand. Well, this is the lamb that we saw last time, $85. Look how pretty. It has this little thing that lights up right here and then the lamp on top. So it's still pretty pricey for a lamp though, I would say. This Japanese cake used to be $12 right now on sale and June 26th right now is less than $10.59. We've made a dedicated video, we'll link it down below. It actually tastes pretty good if you eat it with matcha or coffee. And of course, this is one of the healthiest sweet treats you can get. Real Her, $11. And you can see only three grams of sugar. And if you look at the ingredients, it's really, really clean. It's just cane sugar, there's not, not anything else. So this is really, really healthy. Highly, really recommend. This is also individually packaged as well. These apricots look so good. $8, it's right here. $8 for three pounds. I think it's pretty good price because normally they're like $3 per pound. So that would be like $9. So it's like a little sale. <laughs> well, those organic nectarines, $11 for four pounds. That's actually pretty good. Actually, at Whole Foods, those are $4. $4 per pound. So this would have been like $16, but it's only $11. So we're gonna get one of those. Looks nice. It's peach season again. Actually, they also have the white nectarines, which is really nice. Let's find a good dash. I think this one is good. It's the same price as a yellow. So I think it's pretty good. Get this one. Organic peaches yellow. 
nice. It just smells so good right here. There's mango jalapeno chicken meatballs. Let's see. This one is kind of new. I kind of wanted to try it. Let's see the ingredient list. They have jalapeno. It looks actually pretty okay. Chicken with raised without antibiotics. So this seems okay. Is there any oil in there? There is soybean, but I think it's actually okay. Not too much sugar. So we're gonna try this. I don't see any alarming problem right now. Probably not healthy to eat meatballs instead of just regular meat, but I think I'm I'm pretty sure I'll like the mango jalapeno. How much is this? $15. Okay, let's try it. Yay, this La Crocs is on sale. Almost $2 off. So this new price is $6.49. It's actually pretty good. They have three flavors, key lime, grapefruit, and I guess lemon. <laughs> lemon. It says lemon here. And then also the Waterloo is on sale. Oh, this one's $2.50 off. So $6 after the sale. Let's get two of them. I really like Waterloo. It's on sale. Well, expires today, which is nice. So when you come here, probably not gonna be on sale. Alright guys, as a food blogger, if you see this item, just run away. The, it's a cool concept. I like avocado and it's chips, but this chili lime flavor is not just... chili lime. This is, oh, this is, this is chili lime. It tastes so bad. Like, so bad. Just walk away from this, alright? <laughs> I warned you guys, walk away from this. Shrimp wontons are back. These taste good. It has real shrimp wontons in there and a little bit of vegetables. We like these a lot, so we do recommend. They're not on sale, though. I'm just debating if I wanted to try the tempura shrimp from Costco. Is it good? You didn't like it? Well, Brandon didn't like them as much, but I've never tried. He said I've tried them before he met me. Like, comment down below if you have tried this tempura shrimps, so should I try them? Do they taste good? I love scallops, although they're not on sale. $40. I really like them. Kirkland scallops. We'll let you know when we cook them to see if they're fresh. They're not fresh, they're frozen. Well, most of the store-bought store scallops are previously frozen. They just defrosted before they sell them, so. Hopefully they taste good. Are they fresh? It's expensive, but I really like scallops. We really like these, the Pacific Cod. These are wild Alaskan Pacific Cod. Tastes really good with vegetables and really easy to make. And they're cheaper than the scallops too. Just saying. They also have the wild caught Alaska sock ice salmon, $35. Highly recommend the wild caught ones. They have like better nutrients and the sock eye is like the better salmon meat. They're pretty expensive, but it's a big, it's like cheaper than the other grocery stores for sure. These ice creams are on sale, but we're not buying them. No, we're not buying them. It's too much sugar, but I do, I have tried the Malona bars. They taste good, but. We're just trying to be on the this organic Greek yogurt Kirkland brand is really really good. It's really big for six dollars, and there is no sugar added. It's just so good. It's organic, plain, non-fat, so it does contain sugar, but it's a sugar that came with the dairy. So if you want to eat healthy yogurt bowl homemade, get this one. Something that I religiously ate during the pandemic <laughs> when we were like quarantining at home. So yeah, if you're a yogurt lover, put your own toppings here. This thing is on sale, $10. But it's not the healthiest though. It does have sunflower oil, but it's pretty, still pretty good deal. And it tastes pretty good, I would say. Alright guys, this kombucha thing is on sale. Palm Organic Less Sugar Mango Passion Fruit. It's a kombucha. It's basically like things you drink, like a probiotic drink. It's on sale. $4 off. So it's $9. Let's see. It's probiotic kombucha six pack. Let's see how much sugar is in there. Right. It says zero added sugar, but there is some sugar in the mango passion fruit. Like, so pretty much it has 40 calories. 
look at like basically it's kombucha, kombucha, organic kombuchas. Okay, we can try it. It's good for your digestive health. I buy it from my shake. So this thing is on sale, four dollars off. Nusa is on sale, three dollars off. It's pretty cheap, but this has so much sugar in there. It just tastes good. It's definitely not healthy. But he really likes it. It's like six dollars. How much sugar are there in there? You look over here. Fifteen grams of sugar, nine grams of added sugar. There's more sugar than protein or fat. There's right. more sugar than anything. It does taste really good, I would say. So it's on sale right now. Costco also has the grass-fed butter, ten dollars, salted. Still pretty nice. Grass-fed butter, grass-fed butter for ten bucks. That's a really good price, I would say. So ten dollars, grass-fed butter. All right. So interestingly, I spot a new thing at Costco. It's a superfood creamer. This is what it looks like. It's really expensive for nineteen dollars. Don't you think just for coffee creamers and it's in this like powder creamers? But if you look at it, it's coconut milk powder, coconut sugar, and extra virgin coconut oil. So the ingredients is actually pretty clean, pretty much like keto friendly. But I guess this it's actually not keto friendly. I <laughs> I say it back because they actually. Although if you see total added sugar is less than you know one gram of per serving or whatever, it does have added sugar. So this is not keto friendly, but coke it's everything made like coconut thing. So I guess it's paleo, I guess. So I don't know. Have you guys tried this? Does it actually taste good? I just don't feel like the price point for my coffee. That's pretty expensive. This Joy Bar Bubble Tea is back at fourteen dollars. Eight. Cups, so I really like the drink, but this is not real boba. It's a popping boba, but the texture is very weird. So after trying this out, like we will link the review video down below in the description box. We actually made a dedicated video reviewing this, but I don't recommend. It's not bad, but we still don't recommend. <laughs> Just go for the real boba. Costco has the Ito and Matcha milk tea. I used to buy this, but if you look at like new nutrition facts. 24 grams of added sugar. So all of the benefits of matcha just go away. You might as well just make your own from Trader Joe's, like the pure matcha powder with milk. It actually tastes pretty good. Usually I opt for these. So these are cheaper than normal grocery stores. I do really like this pure green tea from this brand. So let's get one box. Let's get one box. Yeah. It's really nice tea flavor, especially for summer to have an ice cream tea. It's pretty nice. Okay, so pistachio cream. We actually bought it a long time ago. <laughs> it looks kind of scary because it's all green. Trust me, it tastes so good. It tastes like condensed milk and cream. But I still don't recommend it because it has a ton of sugar. Let's see, it has a ton of sugar. Seven grams of added sugar. That's a lot of sugar, guys. So, like, I would prefer it doesn't add the sugar, but it does taste really, really good. You look at the ingredient list. So basically, you have pistachio, forty-five percent, which is good, and sugar is the second item, and milk powder, extra virgin olive oil. But if you look at this, non-hydrogenated, non-hydrogenated vegetable. So it does contain sunflower oil. So. It tastes good, but it's not healthy for sure. Cause pistachios are really healthy, but these are not healthy. But it does still taste good. So your decision. Ta-da! Interesting. No big protein bites. Kodiak protein balls, oatmeal, chocolate chip. Eight dollars and sixty-nine cents. So let's see. Per prepared portion has ten grams of. Added sugar and only 10 grams of protein and nine grams of fat. I wouldn't say this is healthy, just because you know it has a ton of added sugar. I I just don't think it's like very protein dense oatmeal, chocolate chip. Because like I would say okay for three to four grams of sugar, but if you see the facts, like there's not much 
protein compared to sugar because I would rather to have like more protein than sugar so this one I don't know if it's gonna taste good if you guys have tried it please comment down below to see if it's actually worth it and this one it makes 42 protein balls but I would say it requires effort for one and has a ton of sugar for two and but it's pretty cheap so if you have tried it please comment down below let us know we also have some gluten-free cookie mix but I'm trying to reduce my sugar intake also I just want to let you know the reason why we're trying to reduce sugar intake is that my last blood test or urine test was actually pretty scary because I have high blood sugar but they also found ketones in my urine which means that my body is burning fat before lowering my blood glucose level which is an indicator of actually like type 1 diabetes so which actually is confirmed with genetic tests that I'm very prone to diabetes like it's very likely to happen with me so I just don't think I produce enough insulin to be honest with y'all so that's why I'm very very careful with my carbs and sugar intake but just because I'm careful doesn't mean that you have to but I think it's good that not to overeat sugar in general or carbs so just give you guys an explanation why I'm super cautious if you're looking for marinara sauce, there's so many brands right here, but I highly recommend the Rio's. Well, this is what he used to eat in college. First of all, like we know the flavor is good. And if you look at the nutrition facts, there is zero added sugar. Like the four grams is from the tomato, which is good. And their ingredient list is just so good. They're made with olive oil. Like, and also it's whole peeled tomatoes. So tomato peels has a lot of lactins, which is bad for your health. And it's highly inflammatory and everything, but like this one is the cleanest marinara sauce. So Costco has a basic flavor, but like other grocery stores has other like flavors as well. But like this is the sauce to get. And it tastes really good. Like it's brand and tested from college. Like Rio's is the best tomato sauce. Guys, Sola Bread, $7. Has a hamburger bun, sweet and buttery. If you look at nutrition facts, it's so low in carbs, so low. 10 grams of fiber, 14 grams of protein. If you look at the ingredient list, it has olive oil. Nice. This one is really good. I used to buy the regular like sandwich bread from this brand, but now they have sweet and buttery like burger buns. Like this is like perfect for like if you want to eat a low key, low carb diet. Highly recommend. Get this flavor, sweet and buttery. I repeat, sweet and buttery. Really good low carb keto bread or low carb diet. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for shopping with us. A Costco haul will be up soon. And thank you so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.